teammate gets to burn the engine down, and uh, you haven't been able to do that, but another great run for you guys. That's teamwork to perfection today for KHI. It was. We, we didn't know how it was going to work, but Bruce and all the guys worked really hard. Kevin brought us in there. Kevin Bowen, thank you. And uh, Bad Boy Buggy, this is fun to drive this two truck. I mean, this is, this is what it's all about. And uh, Anderson, i got to thank them for letting this thing happen. I was supposed to be driving that truck, but uh, Kroger, Hunts Brother Pizza, Ring, I'm going to catch Mike Wallace real quick, but I'll be back. Uh, this is unbelievable. What are they going to give his teammate a little bit of a handshake here? And Ron Hornaday is up to 14 points, only 16 back. What we're talking about, the bounce and Ron Hornaday's step after he got that two touch. He ran it. He ran it. Bounce over there. Yeah. 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 I believe this sport is ageless. 53 year old Mike Wallace being pushed around the track by 53 year old Ron Hornaday. Mike Wallace, your winner at Talladega. An impressive form of teamwork. Ron Hornaday coming home second. The championship is now behind us. Mike Wallace wins the Coca Cola 250. Let's go to Herbie Seven. Austin Dillon, you made your way back up to seven. Obviously, had a chance to win the race working with Kyle Busch. Tell us what happened from inside the truck on the racetrack and NASCAR's decision to move you to the back. Uh, it shut off on me uh, when I released fourth gear trying to save gas, but the thing that matters is I got it started up before I got back to the check start finish line and I thought I got all the positions back. Uh, I didn't really, never stop, the, the truck never stopped, it was rolling. So um, if they can show me where I completely stopped and lost 20 positions to the checkered, uh, I, they can't, I don't think. I'd like to see it, I'll be waiting to see it. Um, uh, I gotta thank Kyle Bush. He, he stayed with me and really taught me a lot today. Um, I had a blast up there. I just wish we could have gone ahead and finished it out. Um, it, unlikely circumstances how we were drafting with him and he really helped me out. And I learned a lot and um, I don't know, I'm sorry for Bass Pro Shop and Chevrolet. It was just uh, one of those deals. So we'll go on to the next one. At least I think we're still the points later. I don't know. Uh, but we'll go to Martinsville and go kick some ass. That's also deal. He comes, gets back up to seven to maintain his points lead. Three points separating the top two. How about a great finish for Ricky Carmichael? He gets it behind his career best in fourth today. Yeah, James Busher continues his terrific season with a third place run. I talked about Randy Peter a couple times having a strong truck. He wound up 12, so good run for Ray. A great race once again at Talladega. This time it's Mike Wallace that goes to victory lane. Well, we've got short track racing. That's coming up next week at Martinsville. World Truck Series heads to the half-mile paperclip called Martinsville Speedway for its second trip of the season. Last April, Johnny Sauter went home with a grandfather clock, but now the championship race is ticking down, and it's time for some drivers to make some moves. Who will make the most of their time in Martinsville? Tune in to find out. Chris Mimona hosts the setup starting at 1.30 p.m. Eastern, followed by flag-to-flag -flag coverage only on speed.